Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth bout of the evening is brought to you by Lily's Cocina y Cantina and is set for three two-minute rounds in the light welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Dylan Milroy. And his opponent, fighting a Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, Jarrell Moreno. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, let's meet our light welterweight fighters first. Fighting out the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from Denver, Colorado, representing House of Pain, Dylan Danger Milroy. And his opponent, fighting at Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, from Fort Morgan, Colorado, representing Fort Morgan Gladiators Boxing, Jorel Moreno. Okay, gentlemen, we went over all the rules. I don't want to see anything below here, nothing below there, and nothing in behind. Any questions? Let's touch them up. Let's take care of business. Now time for our fifth bout of the evening, Mr. Dylan Danger Milroy and Jarrell Moreno, both from great gyms in Colorado. Dylan Milroy from House of Pain and Jarrell Moreno from Fort Morgan Gladiators Boxing. Jarrell immediately going after Dylan. He's definitely the aggressor trying to press and control the flow of this fight. Referee Blaya telling Mr. Moreno not to push off. Big shots now by Mr. Moreno. Both fighters very patient so far. I've watched both these guys before. They're, they're not going to do anything that is, that, that is out of their comfort zone. They're not going to swing wildly. They're not going to get out of control. And I think that's attributed to their coaches. I mean, Ernie Marquez for Fort Morgan Gladiators Boxing and Steve Messis for House of Pain. Very, very experienced coaches, and they train their kids well. Big, big left hook by Jerome Moreno coming off the ropes. And now he's pushing Milroy into the corner. Breaking guard there by Mr. Moreno. Moreno keeping his distance because he knows he can close quickly and he's done so so far this fight. 
Oh, and a big knockdown by Mr. Moreno. No knockdown. Never mind. I stand corrected. Ooh, big hook there by Mr. Milroy. End of the first round. I would say Mr. Moreno probably won that round. He came out very aggressive and some big shots, but at the same time, I mean, uh, a lot of his shots weren't landing. Uh, Dylan Miller did a good job of blocking and evading some of the bigger strikes. Stay calm, stay patient. Here's the replay here. And you see Moreno throwing very, very wildly. He connected with one of those hooks and immediately tries to get Dylan back into the corner. There's a shot at Steve Mestis from House of Pain, also the matchmaker for airtight boxing in the corner of Mr. Milroy. Very, very experienced boxing coach with one of his other fighters, Mr. Donald Pierce, as well cornering for Mr. Milroy. And let's get it going with the second round. Dylan immediately charging at Morrell. And uh, that was uh, that was anticlimactic. And now Moreno charges back after him. Big shot there, big body shot by Mr. Milroy. And now Moreno. Back to getting him in the corner. Big shots now being delivered by Mr. Moreno. Chasing him around the ring. Jarrell doing a good job of getting that jab up there when Mr. Miller wants to charge in and now got him in the corner again. Big body shots by Moreno. Now Milroy charging back. And with both of these fighters almost taking turns of who wants to be the aggressor, it's important to remember that it almost needs to be controlled chaos in the sense that, yes, you are firing, you are going after him, you are chasing him around the ring, trying to deliver some big shots. And right when I say that, Moreno lands a big shot on Mr. Milroy. But it's about being under control as well, not swinging outside. Ten seconds left now. Moreno rocked Milroy there. Let's see if he tries to close with something. And I think we're just going to get out of the second round here. Strong, strong last minute right there by Mr. Moreno. And let's check out the Larry H. Miller replay here. Moreno is almost, it's, it's almost throwing off Mr. Milroy. When he charges with that lead jab, he drops his head as if he's gonna come back with another, with, with a right hand hook, but he actually finishes the combination with his left hand. Very, very interesting. And the third and final round tonight for our fifth bout of the evening for Combat Series 4, presented by Sparta Sports Entertainment and Airtight Boxing. Big lead shot there by Mr. Moreno, and he's immediately got Dylan on the run. Big body shot now. Moreno smells blood. Big uppercut, he's got him in the corner. This is, So far, Moreno's doing a great job of staying aggressive, going after Mr. Milroy. Not allowing him to breathe.
Oh, big uppercut by Mr. Moreno. Good body shot by Milroy. Now Milroy being on the being the aggressor. Oh, big right hook by Mr. Moreno. He's got him on the ropes again. Under a minute now. Mr. Milroy really needs to make something happen in this round. He needs to end this fight. Big shot by Moreno now. Moreno cannot allow himself to get tagged. Mr. Milroy does have knockout power. Here come the uppercuts and the strikes by Mr. Moreno. He's got him. I was going to say he's got him into the corner. 15 seconds now. Moreno continued to pepper Milroy with those jabs. And that is the end of this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 27 to come your winner by unanimous decision, Jarrell Moreno. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by our winner, Mr. Jarrell Moreno. Jarrell, working with Fort Morgan Gladiators Boxing, obviously a great dynasty of a boxing gym in Colorado. As you were preparing in your camp, is there anything you were trying to work on to improve? I've just been uh, told that, you know, footwork and head movements, everything. Stick to the, the basic stuff, you know. Footwork, hands up, try to keep your hands up. But anyways, I owe it all to Ernie Marquez, my coach, badass coach. Gladiator Boxing, all my sparring partners, my wife, uh, I thank God. I mean, uh, Dylan, he has a right. I was told to, you know, prepare for that. I was just trying to keep them angles, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This shit's hard, man. This shit, this shit takes courage, and, you know, if you're thinking about getting into boxing, get it. Get at it. 34 years old, and I feel great. Well, you answered my next question, which is going to be what do you want to say to your fans tonight? So I guess I'm just going to end with this. What's next? Yeah, I was thinking about doing the next February one, but uh, it's probably going to be sometime after that, sometime after February. Well, we're excited to see you back. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, Jarrell Moreno.